If you go ahead and do what we're going to be talking about in this video, your X's rebound won't stand a chance against you. Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life, and in this video we're going to be talking about what you can do to really stand head and shoulders above your ex's rebound or anyone else that they might have their eye on in their life. Now, rebound relationships can be especially tricky, and they have a special place in my heart. I mean, you know, just the other day I posted a video about my own breakup experience and my own experience getting back together with my ex and you know if you if you were paying attention you know that my ex had a habit of getting into rebound relationships after we broke up but it's tough i get it you know when you find out they're dating someone else it hits you like a punch in the gut you just feel like the floor just fell out from underneath you and it can shake you to your core and everything instinctively tells you to focus in on who this other person is destroy the rebound get back at them, get them out of the way. Are, are they getting closer? Is it serious? Is it just a rebound? Is it the real deal? All that sort of stuff. Everything tells you instinctively to just focus in on that other person. But I wanna tell you that that is the last thing that you should actually be focusing in on. Of course, you know, you do wanna look at some of these things to kind of see how things are unfolding, but what you should be putting most of your attention on is how you and your ex are actually able to connect yourselves. Again, in my story the other day, I, I went and I said, hey, um, if the two of you are gonna get back together, we want it to happen for the right reasons. Not just because you have eliminated all other romantic prospects from them and they are, they're like, okay, I have no choice but to choose to be with you because there is no one else for me to be in a relationship with. That, that, that's a really depressing and disappointing reason for someone to, to actually be in a relationship with you. So we, what we wanna do is wanna give them a positive aspirational reason for being in a relationship with you. And this is going to happen by you focusing in on having the best quality connection that you possibly can have with them, okay? So uh, what we wanna do is we want to maximize the connection that you're having with your ex. And to the degree possible, tune out everything that um, is happening between them and their rebound. Because if they are going to choose to get back together with you over their rebound, it's going to be because interacting with you feels better than interacting with their rebound, that you get them and understand them better than their rebound gets them and understands them. If those things are in place, they're gonna naturally want to choose to spend more and more time with you and choose to spend less and less time with their rebound. They're gonna take all of their energy, their focus and attention and pick it up and remove it from the rebound and put it on you. So once you win them over, once you win over your ex, then they are gonna do a lot of the hard work for you when it comes to ending the rebound relationship. So you don't need to sit there and bad mouth the rebound. You don't need to tell them that like, hey, yeah, this person's no good for whatever reason, I'm so much better than them or whatever. Don't do that. Simply focus in on having the best quality emotional experience you possibly can have with your ex, okay? How exactly do you do this, right? So what we really want to do is we want to take your ex's attention off of the future, off of the past, off of judgments of you, judgments of other people, judgments of themselves, etc. And we want to put their attention on the present moment so that the two of you can actually enjoy connecting with one another. If both of you can just simply connect in the present moment without worrying about where this is going, what this is adding up to, where this was before, is it like the past, is it better than the past, worse than the past, how are you different from this other person I'm seeing, all that sort of stuff. If they can just let go of that and just have a present interaction with you where the two of you can just connect and be real with one another and just have an emotional bond, then that is what's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. If you're able to do this, this is what we in our little community here call a positive interaction, okay? Again, I know you have every instinct to have focusing in on the rebound, wondering, hey, are they gonna break up? Are we gonna get back together and all that stuff? But that's your attention actually being off in the future. And just like how we wanna place your ex's attention in the present moment, we wanna place your attention in the present moment as well too. If both of you are able to be present with one another, you're gonna be able to connect a lot better and that's going to be the perfect setup and the perfect foundation for a positive experience a positive interaction okay of course we have lots of things that go into how to do this in a much greater nitty-gritty detail such as our advanced relational skills training and, and esp and all that sort of stuff but basically if you can just get over this first major hurdle of 
just tuning out the rebound, focusing 100% on the quality of the connection that you and your ex are having. And then secondly, pulling both your attention and your ex's attention into the present moment so that you can just connect with one another, just be present with one another, just bond with one another, and just have a good interaction with one another. That is going to be a strong foundation for moving forward, okay? If this happens, then you're much likely going to have another interaction with one another and another and another and another. And if you're able to continue this positive emotional connection with one another, uh, they're going to want to continue to seek you out and to continue to bond with you. And what's happening is you're building up layer by layer, interaction by interaction, you're building up a, an emotional foundation between the two of you. Hey, we had a great time together at this coffee meetup. Oh, hey, we had a great time together going to the museum. Oh, hey, we had this great time together going to some restaurant. Oh, great, we, we had another uh, amazing phone call or something like that. Every time you do this, you're building up that emotional connection and emotional foundation. And as you're doing this, they're starting to realize they have stronger and stronger feelings for you. And what happens is as they start to realize that, hey, I'm actually getting feelings for you, you actually have an emotional connection with them that you can start to leverage and get them to choose to be with you over the rebound. As we get into this, we're getting into some, some topics for another video. But what I want you to do next is to please share down below what has been helpful for you in reconnecting with your ex, even if they're in a rebound relationship. What has helped you to have good positive interactions if your ex is in a rebound? Um, go ahead and share that below. Go and share what's working for you. Go and share what's not working for you or what's difficult and hard with you about your ex being in a rebound. Um, go ahead and share it down below in the comments section. Anyway, once again, this is Clay. Thanks so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video.